what is cooking guys it's your boy Porgy Peg and I'm here in Akrotiri it's a resto bar with modern Eurasian cuisine and we're just gonna have some fun you know we're just gonna be drinking again Bill Sir Urquil thank you for having me back and yeah I really love your beer So now I've given you guys a B-roll of the food. Bye. Let's eat some. This is the Tom Yum curry. I don't know where this is from. Maybe it's an Indonesian cuisine food or I'm not sure, but. Oh, it's Thailand, according to Auntie. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, I'm putting that in. It's Thai food with a twist. It's very good, yeah. Look at the size of this. Oh, it's just the head. Yeah. Look at the size Maybe of this shrimp. Look at that. Can you guys see that? It's focusing on my face, but can you guys see that? Okay, I'm done with the tom yum. Now I'm holding a 24 hour sous vide pork belly that is deep fried, but more importantly, it was sous vide for 24 hours. So it's very tender, as you guys can see. My pork just sunk into it like that without any effort. And I want to taste this, but. First, I'm gonna slice this into smaller pieces, so I'll be back with this in a while. All right, first bite. First bite. Mm. So what I can say is it's very flavorful and it's very tender. You don't need sauce for this. You don't need anything for this. It's just absolutely perfect the way it is. And if you guys are going here to Akrotiri, I suggest you guys order this because this is really good. Alright, so next up on the menu is the Wagyu skirt. It's perfectly done at medium or medium rare. And yeah, let's take the first bite. Wow, that's so good. <laughs> Can we have another one of this? This is so good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Look, look at it. See that? Perfectly tender, perfectly flavored. I love it, man. Absolutely delicious. The sauce adds some sort of tangy taste that perfectly complements the texture and the flavor of the Wagyu. Man, this is delicious. Really delicious, man. Thumbs up, like two thumbs up. And finally, I am going to be eating the seafood tagliatelli. And I'm going to enjoy this because Auntie's been raving about this so much. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me paint a visual painting on this, how delicious this is. If you're going to close your eyes and just really imagine, you're going to feel like you're going to be in the, in the Greek area, Greek sea, and like you're going to see some crabs in front of you like dancing around and singing. And the pasta, man, it's blowing my mind, dude. I want some more. I think we have some more. <laughs> it's, it's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dish. And I am so amazed to find a restaurant like this so nearby the house here in Alabang, in Commerce Center. If you guys want to try the seafood tagliatelli, I mean, the clams are there, the mussels are there, the crabs are there. I don't know, I think I can taste a little bit of truffles, uh, truffle sauce. I can taste a hint of truffle sauce here. And that's what's giving the umami taste, the flavorful taste. And that's why maybe I can say that this is a really perfect pasta for 
somewhere that's really near the house and I'm very surprised. So guys, if you guys want a solid food trip with really delicious alcohol, come here to Acro Theory here in Commerce Center in Phil Invest something here in Alabang. So, and let's get to some drinking. I know you guys were, were waiting for that, so let's do it. But first, I'll finish this. Mmm, they're squid too. <laughs> Lovely. So even the scotch is from island distilleries. Wow. And then cocktails is just a, a nice hobby of mine. <laughs> um, I do not refer to myself as a, a mixologist. Um, I'm more of a professional alcoholic. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> We're going to be good friends then. <laughs> So Dave, the manager, just gave me some Tacheran. I haven't tasted this liquor before and I'm pretty excited to taste it. It's kind of, if you guys can see, it's crimson red. I don't know what it tastes like. It smells like a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of something else. I don't know what the something else is, but cheers, man. Whoa. The sourness like kicks in right away when you take a sip. The aroma will fool you. It doesn't taste like the aroma whatsoever. But it's really good, man. Yeah, I've drank Pacharan, man. Thumbs up. Very good. Right, so we're gonna play around with a few, a few gins here. Now, we'll start off with the original. So this is Bogma. This is a Dutch gin, the Dutch invented gin, and the first people to start making it with gin and berries. So this very traditional flavor, and doesn't have the normal 40% alcohol, it's only 35. I thought the first Filipinos did the gin, but <laughs> No, no, the Filipinos drink more, consume more gin than any other country on the planet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. How is it? Dry. Dry. Yep. It's an interesting floral flavor there. Um, it's really strong tasting, but there's no 
particular notes that you could identify. Yeah. So that's what you refer to as you know, an original gin. Bokma. Bokma. Um, now we move up from Bokma to, again, one of our Sankre 10. It's been Two around for a while. Yeah. Um, and again, we refer to this, I refer to it as a curious gin because it's very strong in the juniper. You smell it, bro. Could be. Oh my god. Good luck. <laughs> now it moves up from that, it basically it, it cleans that. True. So it uses the same kind of notes, the same alcohols, but it's a very clean flavour, very light. Um, citrus. And you just need the citrus yep. to put with that, and that's that's fine. Now, we move on to this is a South African gin called Cruxland. Wow. Yeah. This has huge amounts of botanicals in it, including truffles. Wow. And it's South African, so it's derived from the Dutch, the Dutch invaded South Africa. And so this is a second generation gin. Now, this one goes incredibly well with the local dry oregano. So. And this is what you start doing. When you when you avoid the purest gins, you can start playing around with these flavours. So this is dried oregano. Very good for the throat with hot water. So you smell that, have a little taste. It's fucking refreshing, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. This guy loves his gin, huh? Mm. Way different. Huge, way bigger flavors. It has aroma. Yeah, and they, they complement each other so well. Now, this one is a nettle gin. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Nettle gin. Nettle gin. Now, you can blame this one is supplied by the wonderful gentleman over there. Yeah. And uh, we discovered last night that this. On its own is beautiful. You can actually drink this straight on its own. Don't drink all of this, just have a smell, a little sip. Man, it, it smells like a soccer fill alcohol. I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh. hey, you just had to smell it, man. <laughs> just get it. He's gonna have, what's that? It's got a particular flavor to it. Nettles, no, it's actually nettles are stinging uh, plant. You find them as weeds. Um, but what we got here is this is banana flour. Yeah. Banana flour. Yeah. yeah. So we put that in with the gin. This has a really unami taste to it, but it has a slight sweet taste to it as well. Um, it's very good for rounding out flavors. Um, give that a bit of a soak. And what you do if you're having a bit of a session and say you just got a bottle of this on the go with the tonic, you just keep adding more fresh banana flour in there. And it, um, it really has a kick to it. Now if you smell that, that now has a completely different aroma. Thank you. And, Hell yeah. And then taste. It smells like banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy just grabbed the... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching this video and if you enjoyed, please smash that like button down below, hit that red subscribe button and please ding that notification bell for more Porky Big videos. Thank you to Dave, the general manager of Akrotiri and thank you for all the drinks that you've given us tonight. I hope that a lot of people come here to Akrotiri more often because this is a really good place to go to with really great food and really great alcohol. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog next week. Thursday. See you there.